How would you feel if I filmed like this? I feel like this is my best angle. <laughs> Good morning! It is just past 8 o'clock this morning. Um, I've already done some HIIT training. Um, so I've been awake for a few hours. And it killed me. It absolutely killed me. Um, if you don't know me, I hate cardio. I'm a weightlifter, powerlifter, and I, I can't stand the thought of cardio. It gives me severe anxiety. And if you had asked a friend of mine a couple of months ago whether I would do HIIT training, they would bet money on the fact that I absolutely would not. Um, but here we are. Here we are. I have set myself a challenge to do three weeks of five days a week minimum of HIIT training. Um, so I've joined an F45 class. HIIT training is my worst nightmare. Can I just be honest? Like, nothing scares me more than, than cardio. I actually had the most horrific experience leading up to my first session. Um, I had the worst anxiety. I couldn't sleep the night before. But we did it and it is now week two and I'm actually feeling, I'm feeling quite good about it. Um, surprisingly. I'm wondering, is how I feel about cardio the way that a lot of people feel about going to the gym? Do you guys feel nervous? Is it the fact that the environment's different and you feel like you won't perform well and you've got a lot of anxiety? Um, is it the people that scare you? Or Yeah, let, let me know. I'm really curious to know. All right, to my two subscribers, I challenge you to do something that scares you um, and make a habit of it. So something that you know is good for you and you've wanted to do. If it's something like the gym and you've always wanted to go to the gym but you know you felt uncomfortable, you were scared that people would be judging you. None of them are judging you by the way. Every bodybuilder and powerlifter started off exactly where you are right now. Um, so don't worry about them. We're all too busy looking at ourselves to be honest. So I challenge you to do something that scares you. No matter how much it makes you uncomfortable, challenge yourself um, and make a habit of it. Do three weeks of it. Um, five days a week, something like that. Um, and maybe even continue after that, but, but really give it your all um, and see how it makes you feel. And if it's for you after that, if you've given it your all and it's not for you, that's fine. But I think it'll surprise you. Um, and I think, you'll, I think you'll enjoy what you're doing. Just give it a go. I'm gonna give HIIT training a go for three weeks. Um, and I will report back on, on how much progress I make. But today um, I am going to show you how to make something that I eat every day. I know a lot of people don't like oats and it saddens me because I am a grandma and I understand that they can be quite plain, but I always make them with a twist. I have like cinnamon, nutmeg, um, sometimes maple in there, maple syrup. Tastes really good with fruits um, like berries and yogurt mixed in with these oats. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to make that this afternoon. Um, and see what you guys think. All right, well, I'm just gonna do some editing today. Um, I'll make that video later on and then probably hit the gym for a back day or a, or a chest day. I'm not sure which one. We'll figure it out when we get there. All right, bye. <laughs> I'm recording. Why can why I can see myself?
you're on. This is what you call a full rep, mate. Yeah? All the way back. I'm okay. oh, sorry, this is your art party. 20 hours, full reps. Oh, go on. Come on, you ain't not that. Oh, do it, do it. Okay, so what do we use? Um, I use stevia usually. You can use this uh, like a baking sweetener if you want, um, but we'll go some stevia. Um, I'm odd and I like a dash of salt and everything. So I'm gonna use a pinch of salt um, and cinnamon, uh, nutmeg. Those are my go-tos. Um, and if you want, you can always add some flavor drops as well. Um, I think it's called My Protein. Um, and you can order that online and they've got flavors like banana, maple. You could literally put in four squeezes of that um, into your oats and just be done. But I do like my cinnamon and nutmeg mix, so I'll show you how to do that today. You will, for the second part, once you've done your oats, need some berries. And if you're feeling a little wild, um, you can always use some fresh straw. Oh! Um, and then you mix that in with some, I like the vanilla Yopro. Um, I think it's a really good flavor. And yeah, it's like 15 grams of protein per serving. And a serving is 160 grams. Um, and then top that off with some maple syrup. You got the blueberry flavor and the original. And it actually tastes like, side note, very seriously, it actually tastes like maple syrup, like Canadian maple syrup. So it's the good shit, all right? You're gonna enjoy that. Okay, let's put this together. <laughs> Quick rant, is it just me? Or when you watch those cooking shows, I don't know, like Jamie Oliver or something, and they're just like, oh yeah, this is a 15 minute dinner, you're busy, so what? If I can do this in 15 minutes, you can do this in 15 minutes, let me show you how it's done. I'm sorry, but do, do you have a house elf that does that for you in the meantime? Because I'm pretty sure that took half an hour to cut, like chop up and measure out. Um, so it's really, it's 45 minutes, don't lie to us. And then who cleans it up? You just, you make the food and you go voila, and then, and then no one cleans it up. You got the crew to clean it up afterwards. You son of a gun. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I have already prepped everything. So we'll just whip this up together. All right, let's do it. Okay, so first we're gonna add some Stevia, we've already got our oats in the bowl. I'm gonna say probably about three tablespoons. 
three generous tablespoons. Um, if you don't like things so sweet, maybe just two, but I like it quite sweet. Then we're going to use some cinnamon. I use a lot, um, pour it in. I would say you probably only need one tablespoon, but I am a cinnamony kind of gal, so check that in. Nutmeg, and I just put in like a quarter teaspoon of that. A little bit of salt, just a pinch in there. Vanilla essence. I'm gonna use one tablespoon of that or a little bit more. <laughs> it won't matter, it still tastes good. Next, we're just going to pour in some water. My recommendation for milk to water ratio is that you want to just cover it over the oats so they're submerged um, but not too much past that so it's not too soggy um, but if you're on a cut just put water um, or even a dash of milk like me but if you have lots of calories to spare go for it just cover it all the milk you don't need water or you could go 50 50. See you! Alright so we're gonna go with We're gonna grab our yogurt, our yogurt, yogurt, um, and then chop that in. And once that's in there, we're just gonna add in our berries on top. All right, so now that we've got our yogurt in there, I'm gonna add in some raspberries. Chop that in. Blueberries. And black currants. Mango. And some straws. So that's basically a oats, berry, cinnamon and fruit bowl. Um, I'm going to add in some of these chia seeds, um, just because there's a bit of fat in them and they help me fill up. Just sprinkle that on top. Yep. And then a couple of seeds as well. And then I'm gonna grab my Maple syrup, I'm just gonna go with the blueberry one today because it's like a berry flavor. And I'm just gonna shake that in on top. Oh good, that's it. That is our final product. So, I hope you enjoyed that serene staple of oats, berries, and yogurt. Give it a go, let me know what you think. Um, and if you have your own sort of twist to it, let me know and I'll give that a try. Um, but like I said, you can actually just use like um, a flavor drop or something like that, but I actually do prefer the vanilla um, essence, cinnamon, and nutmeg mix with a bit of stevia. But up to you. I'm gonna go eat that now and do a back workout. Let me know if there's like a particular workout you'd like me to film. Um, or if you have questions about anything at all. I'm no expert, but I will do my best to answer your questions. Um, but yeah, have a great day and I will see you next time. <laughs> okay, oh, the lighting is terrible there. Okay, bye.